Good morning, YouTubers. We got some pretty exciting stuff going on. Um, actually, at a campground in Nashville, Tennessee, down on uh, Music Valley Row, right, uh, you know, real close to Opry Land Hotel, the Grand Old Opry. Anyway, we've got some uh, upgrades coming to our camper and uh, be working on the next few days, probably a few weeks, from uh, uh, looking at the Wi Fi e extender. Get us some 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 better uh, uh, Wi-Fi signal coming into the camper. We'll be talking about that. Uh, upgrade the system for the battery monitor. That uh, BMV-712 Smart Bluetooth capable Victron Energy, the three-stage uh, converter made by PowerMax. But uh, we'll be doing some videos on, on this and then keeping you posted how everything works out. But uh, anyway, new things coming our way, coming your way, so just stay tuned. Uh, Victron Energy Bluetooth Capable, the battery monitor BMV-712 Smart. Uh, with that, I wanted to uh, uh, get some new AGM batteries for the camper for... Uh, boondocking and, and lasting a, a longer time than what I currently have with the old installed system on this this camper but with that I was looking for a place to put this and I came up with uh, close to the slide out wiring and I checked down below here and saw the wiring already running underneath the camper and which the batteries are, are to the front that direction right in here somewhere close but out of the way I think I'll put it just right there. And so what I have found in my toolbox, it's a two inch hole saw and it looks like it fits up just perfectly. up this hole a little bit I made a made a mess with the sawdust in Miss Vicky's uh, cabinet here but I'll try to clean it up so she doesn't uh, see it and I don't have to hear about it so I can see the wire is wires running back there very good so there in the box, there's a square frame that comes with it, trying to decide if I want to use that or not, or if this is going to be a clean enough install. Check for any splinters behind it before you start the plastic nut to screw that on there. Very good, very good, looks good. It, and that's gonna be kind of handy that if I ever need to check, we could check it just by opening the door if we happen to be traveling to the next uh, uh, RV boondocking location. But anyway, let's uh, pause right now, check out the wiring, and then we'll get right back to you. Okay, working on the battery monitors wiring going to follow down inside the wall here down where the wires are running for the slide out and what we're going to do is tie a string onto the wires pull the wires back through the floor double the length of the string pull it back down through the floor that will give us a way to hook our wiring for this to run down through and to the batteries which are on the tongue of the RV so let's take a look at that wiring. All right, 
already started taking it apart. That's going to run through there, through there, behind the stairs, the steps here, and through the floor. And then I'll have to replace that silicone sealer right there. So let me uh, get on pulling that wire back up into the camper and then we'll re just reverse the operation. Okay, we have the wire pulled out. And what I'm going to do is disconnect all of this mess here, put it down three or four feet further on the string so when I pull it back through I'll have this frayed into this rope still inside the camper to hook my connector up behind the battery monitor right there. All right, here we go. Okay, here it is pulled through. I took my time so I didn't mess up the end or pull the wire loose, but at the same time, As I was pulling on the wire, I was shaking the electrical wires up and down until it finally fell through the hole. It was, it was a tight fit, but I, I got it done. And so now I'm going to hook the 12 volt wires back up and then run this coax wire to the front of the trailer. And there's plenty of that on the inside. So they give you plenty of wire to be able to, to run it all the way back up to the front to the battery box. Here are the directions for the battery monitor, adding the shunt, and um, going to look at increasing the battery capacity, a deep cycle battery, to this system. So what we're looking at is to take off this battery box, put a bigger size box on it, Shut the propane off. We'll take the negative terminal. I turned off all the power. couple self-tapping screws. Go ahead and put this back into place. So I went to tractor supply to fill up a propane tank and bought this battery box and then looking at this that came in the box I finally figured it out that you can divide off the battery box so whatever size of battery that you have to keep it from moving clever idea so I'll use that also while I was there I brought I bought some stainless steel lock nuts bolts to put on this all right to show you what this looks like the size of cable that I needed, tractor supply did not have it in the black. But to be mindful of that it's black, and I had done this back home where I put a solar uh, system, panels, batteries in the wife's uh, laying hen house. I did the same thing, just marked the ends with black to let me know that it's not a hot wire but it's a ground wire okay so we'll take this you have a wire
that will run to your positive and it's on the B1. You have your other cable coming from the display monitor that will plug into here. Loads and charges hooked to this terminal. So this will be going to the RV. This will be hooked to this going to the battery negative ground, battery negative black, negative ground. In this case, they used white on the, on the camper itself, okay? So I'm going to take and install this and then we'll take a, a look at what it looks like then. Okay, we have it all back together. The wires are taped up out of the way. Let's go inside and uh, look and see how the battery monitor works. Okay, we got the battery running to the battery monitor. The screen went through setup, but the cool feature about this is it's Bluetooth capable. So you could go through your manual setup, which you can find in your Victron Energy manual here, or go down and, and download the software on your phone and and i've already done that but i'm going to walk through that what that looks like vic victron connect it'll give you this app um so we'll click on the smart bmv it will go ahead and load That's the current settings of the RV right now. What I want to show you is the way that I have it set up. I've got the, the lead acid battery currently. I'm going to get an AGM battery later. But if you go to battery, These are the numbers. It's an 88 amp hour. I've got the charging voltage at 13.5. Tail current, 4%. Charged detection time, 3 minutes. Pukert, I think that's how you say it. 1.25. Charge efficiency factor, 94%. But let's go back to the relay. There's your numbers there. Low SOC relay, 5%, 10%. Low voltage relay, 11 volts and 12.5 volts. High voltage relay, 14.2 to 13.9. Now part of that, let me go back. I'm still trying to figure out with the battery, do I need to have that set at 13.5? I'm seeing 14.2, but it seemed like information I find there has to do with solar charger systems. So I'm going to wait until I get the AGM battery and, and reset that. I think it may can go ahead and put that at 14.2 volts. And then I'll go to alarms. There's the set point for the alarms. So the low voltage alarm, it'll come on at 11 volts, go back off at 12.5 volts. And then there's your high voltage alarm. Like I said, I've got that at 13.9, going off at 13.7, but I may end up putting that uh, high voltage at 14.2 or 14.3 and just have the variance there. Certainly leave a comment below if you know more about these settings than I do. Uh, I can't find out much information about it, but I hope that helps. And you can set all of that on the monitor by Bluetooth right off of your phone or your iPad. You can go and manually load that information, like I said, with, with, with the manual. It's in quite a few languages, uh, not real easy to understand, in my opinion. But anyway... I hope that this video has helped. Certainly like, share, and subscribe. I've got a couple more projects to the uh, camper that I'm going to do. And uh, certainly would appreciate you watching. Thank you and God bless.